Another option in accessibility is changing the font size settings. And to do that, again, you go back into your um, image here. And this time you're going to go to settings. All right, so I'm going to go up here in the upper left hand corner and select settings. And this time I'm going to go to appearance. So now that I'm in appearance, there's actually a couple of things that you can do here. You can change the wallpaper or the background. So if I go here, it's actually going to launch some different options for me to change my background. And for some students, as you can see, I have an elephant on the back of mine. It's quite busy, but I could change this setting to something that's maybe a little soft. So I'm going to select that and you can see how that's changed. Or I can go back, look at some settings. I can even go into custom settings. So here I could select this and choose a file on my computer so that I could customize the background so that the icons have better color contrast for students that may need them. So I'm going to get out here. The other thing that I can do here is um, I can look at the text size. And this is really important. So if I go here, I have the ability to customize the font size for um, students in my classroom. But I, I want to be clear and up front that if you're doing any kind of customization of a computer, please, please, please um, keep the user in mind. Have the user, that end user, be part of the process. And the ability to change some of the formatting options on the device itself, like the appearance of text, uh, maybe that background color, you know, this can assist with visual tracking, it uh, assists with contrast and visibility, um, and it can be a real game changer for some students. So as you can see, um, I have medium, if I wanted to change it to large or very large, look at those recommendations. The other thing you can look at is customized fonts. And with font size, sans serif versus serif. So those are those fonts that sans serif fonts like Arial, Avant-Garde, uh, Chicago, Helvetica, those are um, fonts that do not have those little tails. So you can look at these. So it, you can see it right here. Um, it actually breaks it down. The standard font here is Roboto. But sans serif font um, or a serif font, I can choose them here. And you can see that a serif font, they have little tails like the Y here, and a sans serif font doesn't. And what we call the, um, it really helps with visual tracking for students that need to have that. The other thing that the Chromebook has that a lot of computers um, do not have is this width, the uh, width between or uh, the spacing between words. And again, for some students, that spacing makes a big difference with visual tracking um, and line spacing. So this allows you to look at some different ways. If you can see, uh, Georgia has much less spacing, uh, words seem closer together. You can also um, download some advanced fonts uh, like uh, Open Dyslexic. Um, they feel is a good font for students with dyslexia. So this is something that uh, people tend not to look at, but for students um, that need some customization, this is really great. It also allows you to look at um, some different options for your touchpad. Um, uh, enabling tap dragging and um, this actually the speed of your trackpad. You can slow it down or speed it up and um, eliminate some double keys. 
So again, things to look at as you're thinking about the students in your classroom, what might they benefit from? So I always say, let's look under the hood and see what we can change first. And then let's modify 